Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're gonna talk about internal dovetails. In the previous video, we talked about external dovetails, and the same idea applies to internal dovetails. When you machine a dovetail, whether it's external or internal, and you wanna check all of your dimensions against the blueprint, it's going to be very difficult because of these corners, these dead sharp corners, and these corners here. You're not gonna be able to accurately or precisely measure this distance, or this distance, or this distance. What you'll need to do is use measuring pins in these corners, and then you can measure from the crown of those pins. So you can either measure between the distance between them or the distance from there to the outside edge or the distance here to the outside edge. So let's do an example of calculating what those distances should be so that when you check them, you'll know whether your dimensions are correct. In this example, which I apologize is not drawn to scale, we know the width of this block is eight inches. According to the blueprint, the distance here should be six inches and we have a 60 degree dovetail. We could have any angle, but 60 degrees is typically what you're going to see. We're using three quarter inch diameter pins. And what we wanna do is calculate what Y should be, as well as the dimensions of X, so that when we're able to measure those, we'll know whether the, the, this is machined correctly. We're going to use the same math that we did with the external dovetails. So just a reminder, if you have a circle and if you have a line drawn tangent to that circle, which means it just touches that circle at one point, it doesn't go through the circle, that where that line touches the circle, that creates a right angle with the radius of the circle at that point. If I have another tangent line, the same thing. If I were to draw the radius to that point, then that, that radius would form a right angle with that tangent line. Because this distance, the radius is the same as this distance here, we know that this distance will be the same as this distance. And if we were to draw a line from this point of intersection to the center of the circle, that in fact would bisect that angle. And what we would have is two equivalent right triangles. So we're gonna use that knowledge with our pins. We're going to draw, here's our two tangent lines. We're going to draw from that point of intersection to the center of our circle. And then we're going to just look at this right triangle here. So we're going to find this dimension on that right triangle. And once we find that, then we're going to be able to find Y. So if I redraw that right triangle here, I know that this angle will be 30 degrees. It will be half of 60 degrees. I know this distance is going to be the radius. If the diameter is equal to three quarters of an inch, the radius will be half of that. So the radius will be 0.375 inches. So I know this dimension. I don't know this dimension and I'm gonna call it A. In relation to this angle, this side is the opposite side, this side is the adjacent side, and the trig function that uses opposite and adjacent is the tangent function. Tangent of an angle is the opposite side over the adjacent side. And if you're not sure about your trig functions, you can check out some videos that I did on trig functions previous to this one. We wanna solve for A, there's different ways you can approach it. I'm gonna do it in a couple of steps so I don't lose anybody. First of all, I can't solve it while it's in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by A, so it will cancel on this side and whatever I do to one side of the equation, I do the same thing to the other side. So the A's cancel here and I'll have A times the tangent of 30 degrees equals 0.375. Now I wanna get A by itself, I wanna isolate it. So I'm going to divide by tangent of 30 degrees, whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same thing to the other side. Tangent of 30 degrees cancels, 
So A will be equal to 0.375 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees, and that works out to be 0.64952 inches. I'm going to keep it on my calculator because I'm going to continue using that value. I've written it down to five decimal places, but I'm going to use the value on my calculator to do further calculations. So I know this distance A is this. If I add that to R, that's going to give me this whole distance. So A plus R, the radius, will be... one point zero two four five two inches so this length here from here to here will be one point zero two four five two inches this is going to be exactly the same that is going to be a that's going to be radius so this distance here is going to be one point zero two four five two Therefore, to find the value y, I'm going to take 6 and I'm going to subtract this length and this length, and that will give me the y value. So y will be 6 inches minus 2 times the a plus r dimension. y is equal to 3.9510. Therefore, if you were to measure between the crowns of each of those pins, this is the value you should get if your dimensions are correct. We can also measure from the crown of this pin to the outside edge here, which is x. And in order to find what x should be, we know that x plus y plus x will equal 8 inches, assuming that our dovetail is centered. In order to find x, we're going to take 8 inches, subtract y, And divide by 2 because this will this x plus this x will give us that difference and when we do that calculation we get 2.0245 inches which obviously I have not drawn this to scale but hopefully you can understand the calculations therefore if you do the measurement between the two pins and get this value and from the crown of one of the pins to the outside edge and get this value you can be confident that you've machined your dovetail to the blueprint dimensions.